Hi, my name is Shane. I work with GoBox Storage and I'm here today to show you how to pack a china barrel. Uh, now this is a proper china barrel right here. This is a double walled box. It's very strong and it's large enough to contain all of the padding and a substantial number of dishes in the middle. It's what you would use for good quality china or anything that's valuable and where it's extremely important or remains unbroken. Uh, this is a regular three cube box here. It is possible to use these for packing china as well. Uh, if it's not critical that the uh, the dishes remain unbroken, then this is a, an option for you. Uh, first thing you do when you're packing is you pack uh, newsprint in the bottom. Uh, you pack your dishes across the middle, then you'll pack newsprint around the edges, and then newsprint on top, in between layers as well too. So we'll get started here. Now, The best way to pack is to wrap every item individually. If you're in a rush, you can also wrap every second item, but your chances of breakage go up if you do that. There, you can hear the clanking with that. Not quite as well padded, but chances are it's going to be fine. Now your dishes, you want to have vertical like this. You don't want to stack dishes on top of each other like this because they much greater chance of getting broken. Same with bowls or cups or anything. You want them on their sides. And again, we'll pack some uh, packing material around the outside. Now, with small plates like this, a couple of different ways you can do it. Again, you can wrap each item individually. Or you can fold over like that using one sheet of newsprint for three or four plates. This is not something I do with really good china, but again, with regular china, it, it chances are to avoid breakage and uh, it works it's much faster to do. Okay, now once we have a layer of china inside the box, we will pack around the outsides. So again, you can see we've got scrumpled up newsprint around the outsides and then your dishes are in the middle where they're protected. Okay, now that's pretty much a full layer there. In order to put more china inside, what I need to do is put some scrumpled up newsprint in first. What you're trying to avoid is any item sitting right on top of another item without some padding in the middle. Now, if you have anything um, like a vase or anything that's particularly valuable, you can also bubble wrap it and then put it inside. This works extremely well with sculpture as well too. One piece of tape to hold it in. And again, you can see here, we've got the bed of newsprint uh, between the two layers. You've got a couple of items here. Now at this point, if you wanted to stop filling the box, you would simply fill the rest of the box with newsprint. You must have newsprint on top as well as the sides and the bottom. Once the box is all done, you want to make sure it's labeled. Label it with fragile, label it with what it is, and uh, make sure you label the top of the box as well as the front of the box. And again, this works perfectly well for regular china. Do use a proper china barrel if the china is valuable and if it's really important. Uh, properly packed china barrel, it, it can go in a go, uh, go box without any problems at all. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope this helps with your move. Mm -hmm.